board chart and this is your marijuana money minute this week senator mitch mcconnell asked the fda to issue guidance on the sale of hemp cbd products the fda had been suggesting it could take them three to five years to set up its rules and regulations but the industry is pushing for a much faster turnaround also shopify said that they will open up for cbd sales they said they have some payment processors lined up that will work with cbd merchants Ease, the California delivery software company, is suing Dionamed for breach of contract and pretty much overall dirty tricks. Dionamed had its stock halted this week when the company announced it had to do some debt restructuring. It turns out Gotham Green wants its money back. The company is also laying off 100 people and its COO resigned. The stock plunged over 30% when they began trading again on Thursday. Dionamed basically wants to take Ease's business with its chill platform. They poached a couple of employees a long time ago. They've been saying a lot of pretty scandalous things about Ease. Ease is fighting back, so who knows if chill can actually take over that type of business if they've got fewer employees and now the financing is challenging. Cresco Labs is buying Trite Companies, which is known for its reef dispensaries in Las Vegas, Phoenix, and Utah for $282 million. The acquire company is expected to generate $70 million in revenue per year. Ianthus is expanding its footprint in Nevada with an acquisition of Sierra Well for roughly $27.6 million. Sierra Well has two open dispensary locations and six licenses. The company has annualized revenue of approximately $16 million and they are positive net income. This week, the superstar John Legend teamed up with Plus Products for the company's hemp-derived CBD launch. Plus just released three new products. They've got names like Balance and Sleep, and you can buy them online. Supreme Cannabis Company reported a net revenue of $19 million for the fourth quarter, which was a 90% increase sequentially and a 443% increase over last year. Flower One sold its cultivation and production facility to Treehouse Real Estate for $20 million. They're going to do a lease back with that company. CanTrust had its license suspended this week. It was a combination of a partial suspension for cultivation and a full suspension for standard processing, medical sales, and drugs and research. Now, if you remember, they went into a lot of trouble this summer growing plants in rooms that didn't have a license. And that's it for this week. I'm Deborah Borchardt reporting for the Green Market Report from Times Square.